Yep, there we go. <laughs> that should work. <laughs> Alright. Hi everyone. It's been a tough few weeks or so trying to see what topic I'll do for my TED talk because I changed it three weeks ago. And you can find inspiration in the strangest of places. I found my inspiration by watching The Ashes and watching Steve Smith after 12 months in disgrace return to, her, return to England and, to, and score her huge, ex, ex, score to huge, huge um, school, scores. To, to, I decided there that I would, uh, I would, uh, I would, just, I decided there that I would do my talk about resilience because obviously uh, the uh, the criticism he he um, was fighting against in those twelve months was uh, was very uh, de saddening, if you want to say that. Um, the the twelve months there was very bad for him, and he must have taken some mental challenges there. But he bounced back from it, and he is doing very well. Today, I would like to talk to you about a particular story that shows resilience in my in my life, and I'd like to share it all to you. I'd like to share it to you today. So, my brother and I used to do what's called track cycling out at Midland. It's on a velodrome. So the things you need to know about a velodrome, if you don't know what it is, it's made of wood. It's got sharp inclines, as you can see up there, or not really. Um, and you, the bikes you use, you're strapped into the pedals, and they don't have any brakes. So one, uh, one Wednesday afternoon, we, uh, my brother and I were riding around the track in a group ride and the and I realised that I was going too fast on one of the corners so I decided to slow down so the only way you can slow down is by uh, actually slowing down your pedalling so I did that and I was slowed down enough but then I realised I was going to crash into the pack because I was going to lose momentum so I decided to go high on the corner there and I I was still going too slow, so I started started going down a little bit. And long story short, I had to rejoin the pack and find a gap in there to uh, get in there. And yeah, I clipped the wheel of the rider in front of me, and I went skating down the tr wooden track uh, down to the concrete below. <coughs> um, I was laying there for about two minutes or so when everyone started crowding around me and um, so I had a few friction burns over my body and things and I noticed a very sharp pain in my, in my upper thigh. So obviously since it's wood you're obviously going to get a few splinters. Now this particular splinter that I had was this long. <laughs> so if and so uh, paramedics came and you know I looked down it was very long. <laughs> yeah, paramedics came and since it was so long, it, I couldn't really lie down on my back or my stomach, so I kind of had to uh, lie. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had to lie, lie down on my side like that. So this is me and the thing over. There's a stick down there. You can va vaguely see it. Yeah. All right, you can look back now. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, and I was taken to the hospital, and I had my the stick surgically removed, and I spent a night in hospital and returned home the next day. The first day, the fir first day back was fairly difficult because. I couldn't really walk properly and could, kind of didn't feel like there was even a bone in my leg. It was kind of <laughs> <laughs> found it very hard to go upstairs. 
And I think in the one to one and a half weeks I was at home in my recovery, I think I read some 30 books or so. And I was feeling pretty lonely there. And it was a tough spot to be in. And I heard people yelling outside, hey, pass me the ball, pass me the ball. And yeah, it reminded me. I thought I would never actually be doing sport again, and I know this this might be going a bit too far, but um, I actually thought I was going to lose my leg, had to <laughs> get my leg chopped off because I thought it was infected. And yeah, I couldn't even think about going back to the the go back going back to the velodrome or even going cycling again. But so here's my scar. A wicked scar. Um, <laughs> after, so this is straight after I got my bandages taken off, and pretty much on the weekend afterwards, after the, after I got my bandages and things taken off, and I got the okay to do sport and things, I competed in a triathlon, and I did feel quite uncomfortable on the bike, but I finished it, and here I am finishing, going over to finish the one, and. Yeah, everything's been pretty good since, and I haven't really talked about it since the since the crash, since about a year ago. So it's quite a difficult subject to raise up again because it was quite hard on me. But uh, my message to all of you today would be to bounce back from all your difficulties, and especially to the kid kids here today. I would recommend that you, I'd recommend that you always uh, always try your best even when things get difficult. Thank you.